Gang. 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 Yo, man, I go by the name of DC, man. It's a, it's a good day, man. Scorpion dropped last night. We got a lot to talk about. The BT Awards was this week, man. But I know Robbie want to talk about something first, man. So we're going we to get into that real quick. Yo, shout out to everybody rock with us. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Rob City, RT, the Haitian Prince, the media kid. Shout out to all the K-pop fans out there. It's been a crazy week in the K-pop community. Before we start it off, let's just make a congratulations to Blackpink for making history. Fast. Having the highest debut in Billboard charts as a K-pop female group. Yo. Do, do, do. Debuted at number 55, man. Good day, gang. How you guys feel about that's that? Crazy. I mean, it's deserved, yo. They like they marketed correctly, four songs, and then you know how they did like that whole poster thing before the hand, and I mean all songs and stuff like that. It, like had a very strong pop influence to it. So I fuck with it. I think that just proves that K-pop as a genre has a big bright future. Yeah. You seen what BTS did? We seen what Blackpink is doing now. This is Blackpink technically their first comeback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Imagine when they've been as long in the game as BTS or True. And the yeah. thing is that this was such a subtle comeback that they're definitely going to have more content because this was just an EP. This, this was, was a, a quiet, mini album. This was a mini quiet album. Four yeah. storm. So it's like four songs. Four songs. And you did that much damage with four songs. Mm-hmm. They streamed 12.5 million times and had 77 um, thousand, thousand dollars in sold. So salute to them. The last female K pop group to do that was Wonder Girl. And yo, based on Blackpink and their success and them climbing to the charge, I feel like now they gotta get on Ellen, they gotta get the Billboard Awards. Yeah. Like once they get the same promotional in America as BTS gets, I feel like it's just only gonna go crazier. Plus their Adidas endorsement deal. And they speak full English too. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's like with them they're gonna be able to communicate even more to their fans and like you can get more out of them with the with the interviews, like cause you know like when it comes to BTS, it's like you have RM. That's a spokesperson for all of them and stuff like that. But that with that was like they, they all really, speak English. Yeah, That's not one. So you're you're right. Yeah. I never thought of that too. And I think it, I think it's um I think I would love to see them on like a reality show because they already do black pink house. So imagine them like reality TV is big in America still. Yeah. So imagine we see them like on an MTV or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, like, like cross cultures. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. That's that that a <laughs> big market for yeah, that's to exploit. Why they're just reality TV? They're just extremely talented. There's a lot that they can do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can't say no, you can't say much bad about black pink. And they're fine as shit. Beautiful, <laughs> 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 beautiful. And this dope. week too was a. Big this week too is another major it's week. Bomb. We do really apologize to all our fans out there, man. We weren't able to go to KCON and NYC, but KCON was definitely lit in NYC. There was a lot of dope people. Super Junior was there. Pentagon was there. Stray Kids was there. Golden Child was there. It was a dope event. We really apologize for not going. Even a lot of famous YouTubers were there. Like, Brist Life was Brist there. Life. Mm-hmm. Des Mark. Uh, yeah. Des Marks was there. I Love Dance. I Love Dance was mm-hmm. there. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to I Love Dance, shout too, out to yo. Love dance. We went on a little trip, <laughs> though. We did we communicate with the K-pop trip. community. Uh, K-Society. Shout out to the K-Society in New York. We yeah. definitely have fun. Check out that vlog, man. And that's all the news for K-pop this week. Yes, sir. Man, so let's get to... You want to talk about anime real quick? You got anything anime news to say? Yo, actually, yo, if you guys didn't know, so Funimation released um, what theaters are going to be participating in the Attack on Titan release for the uh, Season 2 mm-hmm. movie recap in mm-hmm. Episode 1 of Season 3. So make sure you check out Funimation.com. Check to see if what, what movie theaters around you are going to be premiering uh, Season 3 and the movie. You know, our TTV is definitely going to be there. It premieres uh, July 11th and 10th for participating in movie theater locations. So make sure you guys check that out. Facts. Wait, we got, is there a theater around us that, that's showcasing it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Probably the space, boy. That was a personal question. Let that nigga know, man. Probably the space. Not the eyes, not the eyes, bro. We in there. We in there strong. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man, Jersey Drake drops his A side, B side, Scorpion last night, man. If you haven't, make sure you go check out our album review yeah. down low. But, man, how y'all feeling about this album, man? After having now, I know I listen to it a lot more now. So. Uh, he's the best rapper alive. If you want to know why, make sure you check out the episode Y right now. But, yo, Drake 
dropping a double side album, I feel like he's just following the footsteps of legends from Tupac to Jay to Biggie. It's like a lot of legends use you drop a classic double album. And from hearing it, having A side be so rap and B side being so R and B and from him to have the king of rap on A side and have the king of pop on B side. Yo, salute so to Jizzy Jake, man. You did it again, player. Like he was able to get out Michael Jackson. A Michael Jackson hook like a lot of people even now with his death a lot of people would go 10 times harder to try to get a Michael Jackson hook that just shows you how high on the pedestal Drake is and even so even with the diss like it's like it was here today then gone tomorrow you know what I'm saying because I think the first time me listening to it I, I, I was saying that B-Side was a lot better last night. I was like, yo, B-Side, B-Side, B-Side. Mm-hmm. And I still feel that way, but I just feel like I felt that because B-Side was easier to digest. Mm-hmm. Whereas A-Side, a lot of rap, you know what I'm saying? You can't really understand that for the first time you're listening to it. Mm-hmm. So after I listened to it, I'm like, wow, they're both great pieces of work. An amazing album in, in total, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I do like B-Side better because I kind of like, I really love Drake's R&B side, mm-hmm. you know, I'm sad nigga I was here, you know, yes. <laughs> but A side was amazing though, he spit a lot of bars, B-side. and it's the type of shit we liked on if you're reading us. I feel you on that. I'm just more a fan of R&B, so I guess like for me, it's like B side was what made that album really good for me. It's like, I feel like, and I said it before, it's like the production, I feel it was more developed with the B side. And it was like, there was, I don't know, I feel like with the A side, we didn't get like the the B switches up, switch ups that we didn't get, where we do get as much as like, we do. And we got that as much as we wanted on the B side. And with A side, it's just, I feel like it was so much like focus on speaking about the recent controversies that he had and shit, that it was more emphasized on that than the beats, in my opinion, in my opinion. You know what I did notice though, um, on A side, like B side was what we're used to with the switching and beats and Drake's yeah. vocals. The A side was it was dope to see him try new flows. True. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he tried a lot of different sounds that we haven't heard Drake on. Yeah. So that's why I respect A side a lot more than when I first listened to it. Because mm. I couldn't really realize that the first time that's I was listening to it. And I, I feel like I respect the A side crazy, man. And I even said it yesterday. I, I think I still like A side better than B side. Mainly because um I don't know, like Drake addressed it. In a way that I wanted to hear Drake address it. Um, about what, his kid? About his kid, about the Push T situation. He had lines for Kanye West on, on the A side. Um, without going too crazy and still being, still being like, let me let me just get to the, what he said about Kanye West on the, on the uh, what was the track? Emotionless? Mm-hmm. He said, I can't even capture the feeling I had at first. Me and all my heroes, like seeing how magic works. The people I look up to are going from bad to worse. The actions out of character, even when they rehearse. Mm-hmm. Like, so he has like little little slick bars here and there, and he bodied that track, bro. That that emotionless is probably my favorite One song. One of the best songs on, on the A side. I mean, uh, yo, shout out to Drake. Twenty the entire album filled the top twenty five spots on Apple Music right now. <laughs> and today he received fifty six song certified platinum certifications today from his previous albums and none of those were singles. Those are just all songs on his albums that went. 56 of them went. Back. That's impressive. Yeah, that's, impressive. Yeah. that's impressive looking like motherfucker. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Scorpion. Jay-Z said what it. the fuck? So what's your favorite tracks off of the whole album? And I didn't, like, what are the throwaways? I think Ratchet Happy Birthday is trash. No, I bro. can't agree with that. That's, that's so, so trash. No, and it's like, so yo, trash. every time I listen to it, I'm like, Drake, what the fuck, bro? You gotta think it's a happy birthday song. When you think about happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, that's really the funniest song ever. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I think, um, what you would call it, two chains off of my birthday. That's yeah. what I think, ratchet happy birthday. I don't think that wasn't a ratchet happy birthday. At all. <laughs> this is why I feel like it's more, it's more so this generation. <laughs> like, this generation, happy birthday. <laughs> that he just created that happy birthday <laughs> song for this generation. But so you're telling me that like, what's two chains then? It's like, is that for a different generation? I mean, that's also like bro, what, five years ago. You know what I'm saying? So when you go to the club right now, bro, yeah. they're still playing this, bro. This song for the bitch in the VIP. It's your Yo, birthday. Oh, this song. Oh, 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 they got me what I do. Oh, I'm doing a birthday song. We'll see. So, on our timeline. But even, I promise you, I promise you. So you think that's better than the one? against Drake, though. 
betting. I'm not betting, betting, betting against anybody. That's bullshit. That's what I'm doing. It's nonsense. He didn't make that song for you. Yeah, it's a girl. I feel you. Like, he didn't say, yo, I'm on Ratchet Happy Birthday for you, Patrick. I got to ask more girls that I know. This ain't no. You playing at your birthday? One time for the birthday. This is what girls are going to listen to on their birthday. This is what I see girls listen to. You think this Drake is replacing this? I think he's adding on to it. I think he's adding on to it. That's what he's saying. You're not a girl. Only if you're a girl, then you, you know. You can I don't know. Like, I, I know. I know for a fact. Damn! I wish she was here. I would this ask summer, right I'm playing that shit for her birthday, mm. and I she like turn that shit off and plug. Yeah, off. right, right. <laughs> they ask me what I do and who I do it for. Yo, <laughs> so it's cool. Yeah. And not only that, too, as a double album, Scorpion has a running time of 100 minutes, and upon its release, the minute it released, it already is eligible for two times platinum. That's lit. But we called that. We called that. Yeah, Drake 26 uh, track. I told you he's that. going diamond. Yeah, he's going, he's diamond. going diamond, bro. Yeah, he ain't going diamond. That, huh? He ain't going diamond. It's impossible if he doesn't. Is it How many tracks is it? It's 26? 25, 26 25, 25, 25, 25. Yep, 12 and 13. 10 streams on the album. It was one album purchase. You listen to the album. I wasn't trying to hide my son from the world. I try to hide the world from my son. I got you, my nigga. Fuck up that. I need you, my nigga. Fuck you. You need to join me. Nah, I was waiting for him. 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 I was yeah, Waka Flocka ain't got no money. <laughs> he said Waka Flocka ain't got no money. Yo, the, I think the best thing on the album is the editorial notes. I hate when nice. Drake raps. Drake sings too much. Drake is a pop artist. Drake doesn't even write his own songs. Drake took an L. Drake didn't start from the bottom. Drake is finished. He's an I like Drake's older stuff. Drake makes music for girls. Drake thinks he's Jamaican. Drake is an actor. <laughs> Drake changed. Everybody else over Drake. Yeah, 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 we know. Jersey Drake. He, the reason Rob's so happy is because that's everything people have said to Rob for the last five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, we've all heard that before. Yeah, absolutely. Like, the, I, thing about, the thing about Drake is, like, you can't hate Drake. You always have to give credit where credit's due. What I was expecting on the album that I didn't hear, which I'm not I'm not disappointed because it was a great album, but I thought he was going to give us, like, uh, I thought he was going to give us, like, an Afrobeats reggae vibe on B side. Mm-hmm. You didn't have yeah, enough of that on views, bro. Yeah, you didn't have enough of that on views and fucking in more life. No, but I like. I, I like feel like there's music. like I like I like I like. He's Jamaican, hear, my nigga. I like to hear music. Like you're not Jamaican. Like you say you're not Jamaican. You're not Jamaican. You're not Jamaican. Okay. I am. I'll fuck with you. <laughs> but um, nah, you know. <laughs> quick question for you. Quick question for you, though, Rob. So it's going. You said it's going double platinum. Not for week one, right? You're saying like based on nigga God's plan. Yeah, obviously, it's sure. gonna go double yeah. platinum. You got God's plan and fucking nice for what? Who the fuck ain't going double platinum? Sorry, platinum when it fucking came out. Yeah. So that's not a big thing. I mean, bro, he I had that's a big bro, but it's like it's like Cardi had all that yellow. The way, yeah, my nigga, the way, yeah, nah, nah, you're oh, tripping, yo, bro. bro they just they, they, they <laughs> actually wrote it like that. Like Drake is Drake a goat because he's gonna be eligible. Like they actually we knew that. We knew that though. I didn't know that. We didn't know until I knew. I knew that nice for what in God's plan was gonna put that album in a very good position off rip. So I so expect next week. What's gonna do next then? How much he saw first week? So if you go know. diamonds, does a surprise? I don't know what you what are you projecting? No, you yourself? don't want that. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't I'm know. All I'm saying is that I'm I know that. that. That's why I asked you. Is you do off this? I'm saying, saying what do you think? If you said you off those two singles, so based off. So you're saying first week? What I think is himself? Yes. How much you think? Drake will over a I think so. Off the power of Drake, I think he will. I think it's good music too, bro. I don't got a problem with the album. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying two, that I knew that I'm saying it was being eligible well for two million. Two no one has ever done that. That's pretty crazy, bro. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Did you think the Michael Jackson feature was serious? Did y'all think like him getting I, that Michael Jackson feature? I rocked with the Michael Jackson feature, and it was like it's it's crazy. It just tells you how much, like I said earlier, it tells you how much of high high of a pedestal. Drake is on to have a Michael Jackson feature, kind of like even in his death, like it's hard to get a Michael Jackson feature, bro. Hell yeah! Cool. I mean, for like, like thing is, you could tell like obviously like like it was like a demo or some shit that like they they had in the stash that they had to highly like put towards like yeah. put effects on to make it sound like you know acceptable for the beat and shit. But it was smooth as fuck in my opinion. I played it three times already today. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I definitely don't, don't do think it there's any throwaways. 
That's yeah, my, I don't think that's my favorite. Right my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Zero <laughs> throwaways? Nah. I just Drake. A1 quality music. Yeah, 40. I just prefer one song over another type shit. You feel know I me? Mean? I, I can listen to all of them. I just prefer. Really I could do without nonstop. I'm favorite, very honest. With I like you. nonstop. That's the block boy JB joint. I fuck oh, with that no, shit. Like, heavy. Something about that song is just mad boring. I think the beat to me caught me off rip. Boom. I know that shit too. Well, like I, I fuck with that shit. A favorite track on B side got to be emotionless. Favorite track on B side. It's a toss up right now. As of right now, it's Blue Tint. Blue Tint finesse. finesse. That's a smack. Finesse is a banger too. So, okay. you think, uh, now I know it's way too early to ask these questions because I think these shits change daily, let alone, but what do you think it's going to rank in Drake albums? I think Drake has a lot of good albums. Um, what do you think it's going gonna, it's gonna to rate? I feel, and I feel like we do this for Kanye West, so we could do it for Drake. It's My different. Favorite. It was so obvious with Kanye West. With this one, I have to really sit yeah, down. Yeah, I got to yeah. take some I don't even want to say on. shit yet, real talk. Nah, it's crazy to say that I think this is his best album. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, it's nah, ludicrous. I, nah, I think it, I think that's solid. I'm a bad I don't, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's ludicrous. It's I, I really don't think it's ludicrous. I love, I love Take Care, but like, yo, like, what was innovative this? about this album? Would you say? Say that again. The concept, the concept. The concept. production. You think was, so? Yes. Forty. I'll, every time I hear forty, I don't. Isn't, who sounds like that? Yeah. What production sound like that? Forty. <laughs> like you can just tell us forty. But that's what I'm saying. Forty only yeah, works with Drake, so it's not like we hear it like Metro Boomin. You He's only hear forty. You, right? He doesn't work with Never? anybody. No. Okay. I wasn't sure. Forty just works with Drake, and it's like his sound is not like Metro Boomin. I'm a duo tape with you. I'm a duo tape. Even Kanye, I'm a duo. Forty just Drake, so I it's feel like every time they come out, it's always innovative because that's not a sound that we hear. And that's what we heard on B side. That's why. Mm-hmm. And they care. Yeah, a lot of the B side was forty. A side was like a lot of people. Like I definitely black like this mission. more than I like it more than more life for a fact, mm-hmm. and I like it more than views. But I definitely don't like it more. I can't say I like it more than Take Care. I don't know. If I, can I can't say I like it. Yeah, more I need time. I can't. I can't say all that. Yet. Yeah. You know the only reason I can't say like, like, you you're saying it's better than this album already, but it's like. Like I fell in love with some songs on no, this I album. Love you know what I'm saying? Album. Like I feel like I, I haven't had time to fall in love album, with man. shit off no, this album. The thing is, you know what I'm saying? More life, like I fell is, in love with some more songs. life is. 40 I 40. feel like it's so B side with a sprinkle of A side, which it, is what it, I basically wanted. Feel like, like I feel like he could have took three to four tracks on each and like, just made it one 17, 18 album. I think like like he gave us a. He gave us two albums in one. He gave us if you're reading this, and then he gave us. Views and the thing and about, one album, yeah. And, and now, how can we not say that's not his best work? You feel like, me? It's, it's, it's my question. Rap, it's like straight hip hop and straight because yeah, if you're reading this, it's too late, has better rap songs. Nah, I don't think so. I don't know. That's, 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 nah, that's what I was getting to. That's a yo, that's perfect. That's what I was getting to. So, does he rap better on this than he does on if you're reading this is too late? And does he sing better on this than he does on take care? I think he does. He got better because that's what you have to ask yourself. And it's like, I mean, take care is a classic, I'll give it that. I think he raps, and then nothing was the same. I nothing was the same as my favorite Drake um, piece. You said if you're reading this, right? Uh huh. You said if you're reading, reading this. Is um, nothing that was the same. same. My favorite, my favorite Drake like album probably. To, to I me. forgot about that album. Yeah, nothing I was still, the same as I, I, I Connect the language. And there's no, there's no rap song forever. on this yet, yet that I'll say. Cause I'm still digesting this album. Yeah, me too. Man. That's better than Tuscan Leather rapping wise. Mm-hmm. Nah, emotionless. Tuscan Leather is still the greatest. Emotionless is great. It's great, but like. I don't know, rapping wise, like. Nah, I just think you had to take bar it. Bar for bar, I don't, I don't, I don't know. This album hasn't even been on for twenty four hours. That's, 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 that's why I'm saying. 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 I'm sure we're gonna get back to this. I finally was able to find. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I gotta get into this man because yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about the BET Awards. But first, I'm gonna play a little clip from the most awkward moment I think I ever fucking seen on BET. It was a die. It awkward. was mad awkward, yo. Jamie Fox calls Childish getting beat up to the stage. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
some other people, other ladies. But, but just talk to us about... <laughs> no, I, um... I love... Um, I'm really happy to be in this room with everybody. We're just gonna leave it at that, man, Lena because... As well. <laughs> yes. Come on, man. The shy is incredible. Yo. I mean, it's awkward. It was awkward, but right. I feel like... I, I feel like you amped it to yeah, me. Yeah, I feel like you amped it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Awkward, you know, it was awkward when uh, Nipsey Hussle slapped that dick. <laughs> 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 Before the BT, was Nipsey Hussle. That was a solid yeah, smash. They called it the victory <laughs> smack. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, that is funny as shit. But I feel like that moment felt more awkward than it was because Donald Glover is automatically an awkward person. Yeah, it's like he's already an awkward. Like if you watch anything that he's done and shit like that, like move like that fucking short film he did and stuff like yeah. that. Anything yeah. before that, yeah. even Atlanta, he's just an awkward nigga that just knows yeah. how to play that part. You feel me? So and even yeah, so but it's like was, when he was on stage, like when like Jamie Foxx was like, yeah, 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 like he was jigging, like he yeah. was like <laughs> and like his face. Makes sense. So how'd y'all feel about the BT Awards in general? Um, Meek big Mills things from there. I was gonna say big things from the from the uh, awards. You got the Nicki Minaj performance. God damn, Nicki Minaj. Whew. Um, then you had the J Cole to open the performance. Let Thurster. And then you had my boy Meek Mill made his, his return. Yeah. He was able to sneak this in before a Drake release. You heard? Going under. Uh. We scream black lives matter, but we still toting letters. Watching our own brothers try and get at us. And then, how y'all felt about the new Meek track? And are y'all looking forward for the new Meek album? I'm sure which it will be seen I, sooner. I was rocking, I was rocking with Stay Woke. And I was rocking with the performance because it told a story. And that was one of the best telling, storytelling performances that I've seen at an award show. Like, yeah. If not, not the best storytelling performance that I've seen at an award show. Like Let's really add nice. that to the best collection of Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, bro. It might have been better than Hey Mama at the Grammys, you heard? <sighs> no, it wasn't that good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's you know? the best. <laughs> but no, nah, I, I do agree with Jerry though. That I, like I basically that was very impactful and it caused is like it caused such a great they shock say- value. No bullshit. Coming. Yeah. <laughs> but it caused a really great shock value and stuff. I think we've seen uh Meek at that performance transition from that hood nigga to I got more to say than just that. There you go. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I think it was a big step in me getting to the next point of his career. Um, so I'm I'm excited to hear what he got to say yeah. on the next album. Real shit. And then the fucked up part is two days later he gets denied a new trial. So now Meek's right back in the shit trying to figure out what he's going to do. Um, but now so, he has a lot of a lot of people that's like basically hearing his voice and stuff like that. Now you have like people like Robert Kraft, the owner of Philadelphia 76ers and politicians that hear his plight and they're more supportive because of the fact that he has a different stance on the situation. He's taking a very mature route when it comes mm-hmm. to the shit. No bullshit. Yo, call me crazy, but I need to see the God interview with that judge, bro. I need that shit, bro. I need to see the God oppressor, yo, and <laughs> find out what the fuck is going that on. Because it is never happening. No. But it's like, she refuses to get off that case, bro. Like, that's the biggest issue he's having. Mm. I think any other judge at this point, if they were to take it over, would be like, I ain't dealing with this, this shit. shit. <laughs> like, like, yo, just get out of the system. Like, I'm not going to be the person they label and blank, 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 blank. you have that much hate in your heart about somebody for you to, like, continue, like, trying to... Oh, like, one of her kids probably listen to me. Like, she hates this shit. I don't know. Yeah, like, like <laughs> she asked the man to do boys to, like remix boys to men or some shit. Like, I don't know. She on some other shit. So I was like, okay. no, that's not good. Um, so I don't know, man. I hope me gets that figured out because from this day woke track, I can tell you right now, the next album we get from me is gonna oh, yeah. smack. Not real shit. It's gonna smack. So, um, but I'm gonna just play this song, and if y'all don't know it, y'all probably should, should just shut the podcast off at this point because. Who the fuck doesn't know this, man? This is a big rich town. Yeah. I just come from the poet's part. Bright like city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Yeah. I just happen to come up hard. Legal or legal, baby, I gotta make it. 
Family to get straight back nowhere Life's full of twists and turns Bumps and bruises I live, I learn I Man, this might be the new fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song, yo <laughs> You play this shit at the party Niggas are singing it, bro I didn't even know they had a video for this motherfucker Me neither, no bullshit sure. Shout out to 50 Cent last night They performed this at City Hall Lala was in the building uh, Ghost was in the building Tommy was in the building hey, A whole cast was there They premiered it uh, They were celebrating the fifth season Stars wanted to show out and 50 Cent shut it down. Man, salute to 50, get the strap. I'm gonna say 50, so get the strap this week for one milli. Mm-hmm. Shout out to 50 for that, man. 50 Cent been a great businessman for a grip. Um, I don't wanna ruin the show for anybody, but I'm gonna just give a quick synopsis. And we hope to, to see y'all at our reactions. We're gonna be reviewing this show all fucking season, so stay tuned. We're actually gonna do a reaction to the last episode, so that's gonna come soon as well before the season drop. But um, basically, long story short, man, you can explain Power Man a little bit. You're the writer. You're English major. I'm the writer. You're English major. Go ahead, bro. Man, (laughs) honestly, man, this... I don't even know if I want to say it, man. What do you think is going to happen this season? This season, of power. This season, um, Kanan's going to make it feel like, ah, yeah, we're all a unit and stuff like that. We cool, but then he's actually going to work that against them and then use that as their downfall. Drake, Get their trust and fuck them up, over. Nigga. Nah, no, I think he's going to use Tariq. Eventually. Nah, I think Kanan's officially on. He's on their side. On their I just side. think that the only person that's going to fuck him up is he can leverage Tariq. Because you can see in the trailer that Tariq wants to be a gangster this season. Mm-hmm. Like, he looked at him and said, teach me the game, ghost. That's gonna... I think that's gonna be the craziest thing. I think it's gonna turn to a point where Tariq probably becomes... The hood nigga. nigga. Yeah. Now I think he's just gonna become a hood nigga and start shooting niggas. <laughs> yo, he's, yo, he's catching another body, bro. I was gonna say, yo, does Tariq catch a body in season two? I mean, season four? What do we have? Season uh, four season five. five. Season five. Does Tariq catch a body this season, yo? No, for sure. I think we're gonna see him face some time and. You think his to, wife, uh, Ghost's ex-wife, is gonna go to jail? Oh, they gonna find out about she's fucking a lawyer. She's definitely. I'm, she's going on at least one night in jail, bro. The, the prince is in her hand. I mean, it's um, it's on her the gun, 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 nigga. That's right. That's her gun, nigga. Do they have the prince though? I'm sure they have prince because she didn't hold the fucking gun. I don't know, man. It's she her got, gun. It's her gun. I it's know her that. gun. I know that. So. She got that dude, lawyer dude, wrapped around her finger. Though. Yeah. If she ain't snitching, nah, you know what's funny? Power's killing me. That, power. Ghost that is killing nigga's going to have a twist this season, bro. Because, yo, for some reason, that nigga knows what's going on. He know the game. He just, I feel like he's playing his position until he's going to attack. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like he got a motive. He just hasn't. He just hasn't showed his cards yet. Yeah, he just like you know what? Let me get in. Uh, let me get in the pants. Fuck her head up and shit like that. Now I'm a leverage her out. I'm interested to see what happens with homeboy though. Lawrence Tate, the little nigga like. Oh, uh, he better be the gangster too. Mm-hmm. You remember when he oh, took goes to the side oh, after the shit? Yeah. Like, listen, you gonna have his funeral, man. You, you gonna about do this shit from um, um from. What he's movie? in a lot of movies. He's a lot of movies. He was in Menace Society. Menace Society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I think he's going to play a very, very big role in this set, in this next season right here, yo. Because they set him up to really... I knew it. I think it was fishy as shit, bro. No bullshit. I, I think he's what Ghost wants aspires to be. What? I think he's what Ghost aspires oh, to be. Oh, being a street nigga, but very, like, basically... He's connected cut, politically, yeah, yeah. all uh, that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And his... His uh, street business is very covert. Yeah, you know OD. Like, but yeah. Ghost got way more money than homie. It seems uh, like we actually uh, don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. But like, it seems like he's always been until that that one scene. He seemed like he was letting dog. Uh, I say he was letting dog. He was letting Ghost make the moves, like it do everything, and well, he, he let Ghost. Ghost. He needed Ghost. To come so, on that panel, we just don't know him yet, basically. Yeah, yeah. There's so we don't so know. Much Ghost got a lot of money, but it ain't clean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So does he really got a lot? Yeah, he, he got, got a lot. Wiped, too. He got a lot of shit wiped out though because of the case and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Remember how much, how much, how Tasha had to go into the bank to get? There's so much. You guys gotta catch yeah, up. It's the craziest fucking show on television, man. It's a big rich town. Make sure you check out Power yeah. on Stars. July 1st is the premiere of season five. Man, if if we're wrong on this one, man, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. No bullshit. <laughs> um, shout out to Childish Gambino. I actually meant to bring this up before. So, this week, man, they're saying that Childish Gambino may have stolen the idea for This Is America. And um, I played it for Rob earlier. And Rob th- thinks that it's possible. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. So, this is an uh, artist by the name of Jace Harley. He dropped it two years ago. Childish Gambino says he recorded This Is America, though, four years ago. Or Which more than two years ago. It's very close. I- I'll admit that. Subject matter. Um, um. Like even the, the yeah. format of the song is strong. This is ill though. So far. <laughs> I can't keep it up. What you said? You said. Um, I'm in the morning. Um, we'll go my 
So, what y'all think about that? Y'all think Chad Gang Vito? Tough, but I don't know. Be jacket for beats, bro. I don't, I don't know. I'll be I frank with you. Oh, I, I don't know, man. Uh, let me hear a little. With your daughters to marry us, when they let us dick so I tear it up. We got a wedding and marry us. Half the society scared of us. That's that's very close. Up. <laughs> the flow. Even the that's flow, why I had, hear, I had to hear the beat drop and shit. Yeah, because initially you didn't play enough for me to be like, wow, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> that's true. I'm you, not I actually I'm not Cause I don't know Like cause you know How like the music industry Works and stuff like that There's a lot of Situations like Well um Like for example Drake who do you love Like that whole Fucking first That whole verse And stuff like that Is a whole song That came out In the fucking 90s And shit like that You feel me So it's like We never know What's behind the scenes Or like what know. influence You get from another song And shit like that So I don't know but I mean, Charles can't be. I don't know, man. I, I think feel like creative this genius. Like this happens, stuff like this happens all the time. Man. Made oh, it out of the line. I made it a hot song. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's the like one thing I can tell you. Like the bars on that are fucking weak compared to the Charles Gambino version. Mm-hmm. That's just me personally. But the like Quavo isn't on this version right here. Fuck this version right here, bro. <laughs> no bullshit. Man. I don't hear no Quavo ad libs. I don't hear no Black Boy JB ad libs. Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Does it take any? Uh, does it take anything away from the song? Like no, because at the end of the day, it's like you took something that was a good template and made it monumental and transcended it. He like at the end of the day, yeah, he got two hundred k. But Charles Gambino got like damn near 150 million views on his shit, my nigga. So the message got spread. <laughs> Regardless of whatever, yeah. it got spread, nigga, which is the most important thing about it. But that version was hot, though. That version was that version I like, was I like how it developed. You would be heated. Like, if you designed this shirt and I just came and I stamped the RT there and I sold a, a million of them and you sold 10 of your versions. Zara and you'd be H&M heated. do that, that shit all the time, time bro. bro. They did it to you. But, like, how they does do that, that for all the hot <laughs> designers? They do that for everything. Bro. I stand corrected 300 mil in a month. They did that for easy season. Yeah, they, no, everything, everything. Bro. Yeah, everything so I, it's like I'm telling you, everybody, like everybody that's a creative hat, that's a real deal creative had had their ideas taken. Yo, nah, that's real shit. But um, um, in the superhero universe, so next week <laughs> we got Marvel's gonna be releasing releasing Ant Man and Wasp in theaters. So oh, yeah, oh, Marvel, for real? yeah. yeah. And actually and ties in to the and it ties great. in and it ties into everything. And you notice Ant Man, if you saw Infinity War, Ant Man actually wasn't in Infinity War, so we're definitely gonna expect to see him in um, the part two of Infinity War, Avengers Four. Mm. Um, he's definitely gonna play a bigger. He's definitely gonna play a bigger role. And pretty much Ant Man and Wasp, it pretty much talks about the adventures together because in the comic books they actually they actually get married. They're actually a married couple. Oh word. Um, so it talks about their adventures together and pretty much yeah. That's a gist of it. And um, a new, some new info has been released for Young Justice Season 3, The Outsiders. They just released some new artwork. Um, it's featuring some of the characters that we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see Blue Beetle, Kid Flash, Slash Impulse, um, a new character by the name of 13, Artemis, um, Robin, Wonder Girl, Static Shock. Um, Woo! Nigga Jared's coming in! Finally, they gave you a light, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a couple other more characters that they haven't named yet. They also announced that Beast Boy is also going to be in the Beast Boy is also going to come back in season three. Um, also, come back. Um, in in in. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> also in the DC in the DC in the DC streaming service it put a it put more of an emphasis on the shows that's going to be coming out so it's going to be Young Justice to Outsiders Teen Titans Harley Quinn Doom Squad Doom Patrol and Swamp Thing um, they're also going to be taking some of the old cartoons and they're going to be remastering them along with creating more original movies for the viewers, more oh, original, like, animated movies. Yeah. For the so we're gonna see like real Teen Titans, not Teen Titans Go. Yeah, we're gonna see like this is like Titans is actually is a, is a live action series. So, oh, that's fire! So <laughs> it's gonna be it's it's, it's real. That's lit. It's real. That's dope. So that's lit. I can't wait for that. Yeah. So. All right. What you got? All right, man. So last but not last but not least, man. 
So shout out to Rosenberg, man. Um, he actually has a show open late on Complex, man, that he had his last uh, episode yesterday. Ended with an interview with Child with the Childish Gambino. Wow, with Chance the Rapper. Shout out to Chance the Rapper. Definitely my favorite album of two years ago. Coloring Book. Mm-hmm. Definitely was my favorite album of that year. Um, a different vibe, different sound. I really fucked with it. Um, and he's talking about how he also has a seven track album with Kanye. And I, not only is he have, gonna have a seven track album with Kanye. But also, he has six out six songs done with Childish Gambino, which they plan on doing a full length album, Let's sixteen to seventeen tracks. Um, if we if we talking about what he already has with Kanye, I mean, you got Ultra Like Beam, you got All We Got, which is on Coloring Book. Um, yeah, so basically, he has the seven track the seven track mixtape dropping with Kanye West, and he has the album drop with Childish Gambino. How y'all feel about them albums? Feel like Chance the Rapper is one of the most successful independent artists, if not the most successful independent artist, yo. No bullshit. And he has a sound that nobody else has. Nobody sounds like Chance the Rapper. Chance sounds like old Kanye. No. I don't think he so. What? At all. Where? Rap? I feel like, I feel, no, not sounds. He's, I feel like his, his um, message, message his body kind of, there, there you go. <laughs> I feel like there I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see a uh, seven track Chance the Rapper and Kanye album. But honestly, I would be more excited to see a seven track Kanye West and Big Sean album. Nah. <laughs> nah that would be he's talking would. about Double and Nothing versus Coloring Book of the last projects these artists put out. I'm good. I'm not talking, I did, that's not what I said. Well, I that's the last, that's the last project see, they put out. I would be more excited to see, more excited to see a uh, Big Show and Kanye album than I would be more excited to see a Big Show. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Kanye we got, we, well, we but had, we had that tracks produced by Kanye West albums. for Big Show. I don't like their sound as, as, personally, I don't like their sound as much as I like the sound he has with Chance. I mean, every song he has with Chance is like, Holy to me, it's crazy. With him, Travis Scott, and I, I, I don't know. I feel like the the <laughs> sucky part about it. I actually, I'm looking forward more. And I feel like a lot of people may not agree with me. I'm looking for more of the Donald Glover, which I was getting being a collaboration with Chance the Rapper, only because that I'm not true. really a fan of that sound of like that ultra light beam type of sound. Of, extra choir gospel table I don't know why I've never been a fan but of I don't think I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's, it's gonna, gonna be apply. heavily you think so? heavily well he said it he I don't think gospel. that I don't heavily think I don't think it's gonna be not I don't, gospel I don't I don't think I don't think it's like right his whole sound Chance's whole sound isn't that gospel but he <laughs> loves that like yeah, that sound right there was kind of like I, I don't know a like gospel. I feel like I feel what you mean. Though. Yeah, it's like nigga. Uplifting. Exactly, yeah. and I hate uplifting sounds, nigga. <laughs> I, I hate it. Nigga, go be depressed in the corner. No, you don't understand like, that, nigga. I, like, you said some shit about like, yesterday, yeah. nigga. I said it was bubble gum. I said, yeah, no, you said it's too up in yeah, too Nah, I said bubble gum. There's a difference. No, you, I'll it's like go childish, back to like, it. Like, you said uplifting, nigga. No, I didn't say uplifting. I put, I, I definitely say where I'm uplifting. I said happy, I said happy, and I said fucking bubble gum. But, no, I feel you. I really want to see that album, too. They've been good friends. That was the first person to ever really rock with Chance. Yeah, they did that with. song Worst Guys, and I really fuck with that song too. And oh, she needed with some. Oh, oh she needed need with some. Oh, she needed with some. Oh, she needed with some. That's my shit, man. Yeah, but definitely, definitely. So, man, I hope that we get to see those those uh, projects come out soon, man. Um, I'm looking forward to both of them, regardless. Man, we rock with everybody who's tuned in, rocking with us, the Report Podcast, man. I go by the name of DC. Follow me on Instagram, DCZ underscore World RT. Here, it's Patrick God TK, Brain Savage, man. Appreciate everybody rocking with us. Yo, move your big ass head, nigga. Damn. K Brain Savage, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it is your boy Wells. You can follow me on Wells. Get him, Wells. Get him, Wells. It's a man. It's a man. It's a man. Wilkins underscore RT. Snakes versus blocks. I mean, live up. I love that game too. I stopped. I just beat it too much. What's good, yo? It's your boy Rob City RT, the Haitian Prince, the Media Kid. Shout out to all my Haitians. Sak pa se na boule. I sing on bed. I sing on bed. Yo, we'll be back next week. This week we we held it off a little bit. We wanted to get this Drake album in, so we wanted to listen to it and dive, uh, dive into that first. But man, stay tuned. Every single Friday, the report podcast, new segments, new topics every single week, man. And that settles it at the, the round table. table.